Keely Matthews and I am a photographer and digital artist from Melbourne, Australia. Please note the sassy accent. <laughs> Today I'm here to show you how to edit your Photoshop template. Now it is a very simple to do and once you are done you will be editing like a pro. The good thing about templates is you can edit them over and over again, reuse them, which is what I like to do. Now when you uh, bought your template, you would have received your download and you would have received your file here. Uh, so hopefully you save that somewhere safe and you can open it up and inside will be your Photoshop template. And it'll be a PSD file, as you can see here, Adobe Photoshop file. And I'm going to double click on that and that is so will we just for clarity i'm going to close that down okay so here is our file it is very pretty nice pictures along the side here we've got three pictures and we have some contents and text great but how do i change all of those things very good question frankie so to do that i need to see all the layers because a photoshop file like this has many different layers of all the different elements here. So I'm gonna go up to Windows here and I'm going to go to Layers, bingo. Okay, these are all the layers that are in your file. Now I'd like to name them here for you so you know what each one is and it just makes it easier for you to edit in the long run, it keeps everything in nice order. So. I put them in little folders inside there. So all the layers are living within little folders for you to keep them nice and tidy. So I'm going to change this document here. I wanna change it to suit my new beach shoots that I'll be doing over the summer. So I'm gonna change these images all to beach images that I've taken from my portfolio. And I'm going to change some of the content in here because this doesn't really fit what I want for my beach shoot. Um, good news is, is that I can change this over and over again for whatever I want it to use. And I'm going to go to here. So I want to change this top image first, this one here. So I'm going to open up this little folder here. And I've just put a little text here on how to do things. So I want to double click this thumbnail to change the images. I want to double click this one, not these ones. I just want to... So I'm going to double click and it opens up this magical file it's another photoshop file now i can change all the images within this file here save it and it'll save it back in the old document so i don't want this image here i'm just going to delete that and it brings me back to that and i want to put my images in so i put my folder here and I'm going to change my images from my beach shoots. And I'm just going to choose this one here. I'm just going to drag it over. I'm just going to drag it over here. And it's just thinking it's dropped it in there. Now I want, I like this one, um, but I want to stretch it out across that full canvas there. So at the moment she doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to, I can move her about. She hasn't been placed yet. I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to grab the edge of this photo and I'm going to drag it down so that it covers all the area here. And I'm just going to move her about until I'm happy where that is. Pretty happy with that. And I'm going to press return or hit enter. That image is now placed. And all I have to do now is just control or um, command S for Max, which is save. I'm not sure what it is for Windows, but just do your short key save there, and that saves that document. And I can actually just close that now. I don't need it anymore. And it's updated right here. I know, magic, right? Now, I wanna change all my other images too. So I go down to my middle image, and I'm going to double click on that one, and I'm going to get rid of her. But this time I am going to show you the old school way. If you aren't a drag and drop kind of person, we're not all drag and drop people. When we want to place an image, we can go down to, go up to file 
and you go to place embedded or just place depending on what Photoshop version you're using and I go and I need to find that image and it will be on this folder here somewhere and I'm going to place that one I can just work out that that's the image I want from that teeny tiny thumbnail um, but all photographers have amazing eyesight I'm sure you do too and I'm just gonna hit on that and place now that's placed same way as you drag and drop it's no different at all depends on it's just preference so if I want to make her fill the screen I'm gonna to have to do that trick again where I grab shift on the keyboard and I just grab the edge of that photo and I drag it down like that and I'm just going to put her right smack bang in the middle and I press enter or hit return and again I can save that document so I just hit save if you don't save it won't update so just hit save it's not actually being destructive to your file you can go back and change it later and I'll show you that in a second and that's updated there which is great now I just changed that last photo I'm just going to double click on that one and I'm going to find my last photo first I'll just get rid of that and I'm going to get this photo and I'm going to drag it over and it looks like she fits in there but I don't think she's quite within the boundaries that I have set up for this and I'm just going to show you what happens when it doesn't quite line up so I'm going to place that with a little bit of black around there and I'm going to hit save I'm going to close that down and when you go into your document you'll see that there's that that little bit of black just along the edge there and that's just because the file hasn't covered the whole canvas but we can change that and you can do that as many times as you like until you're satisfied so you can go back in and you can double click on that and we can move it about again we can just grab that and we can move it and I'm gonna just drag her back now she's filled the hole so that blue is outside of my canvas I'm pretty comfortable with that I can hit save again go back into the document and perfect perfect those photos look great I'm happy with those now I'm going to change the text and I'm going to change package one first and I'm going to want to change those but when it comes to text in Photoshop it can be a bit of a tricky one because you have to try and just touch in on that text every time and double click on it to edit and it can be problematic but nice little trick if you want to change that header I can click on that layer there and I go to that thumbnail and I double click on that and it opens it up for editing right there and I'm going to call this package the beach babe package because just because I can and I'm going to change the content here so I just double clicked on that thumbnail again and that highlights everything I'm going to change the price to that of that to let's make that 397 and I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to go into package 2 now I'm going to change the header of package 2 so I double click on the thumbnail to edit double clicking on that I'm going to call this the sunshine pack oh, package and I'm happy with that and to hop out of it you can just click on another layer and it pops out for you and I'm going to change the price on that one as well to let's say 497 just changing up my price points trying a new marketing tactic <laughs> okay and the last one here I'm going to change this header so I'm just gonna click on that layer again I can see it's highlighted so I know that's the one I want I go to thumbnail double click on that and I'm going to call this the beach is better package and I'm going to change the content of this because this content is not correct oh okay wrong one okay so don't double click on that 
because it will make you change the thing. Double click on the thumbnail. You'll probably do what I just did and get it wrong first time, but you can go and change that, so that's fine. So I'm changing that to 597. I want to make this, I'll make this two hours again. Just go in there and do two. I'm gonna do two to three locations on that, but I'm gonna offer 60 professional edited images. Now you can change all this text. This is completely up to you, whatever you're doing with your business. You can change that to whatever you want. Whatever you want. Now I'm just, I'm happy with that now. That looks pretty good. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to send that out to my clients, but now I need to export it so that I can send it out to my clients. So there's two probably uh, more common ways of exporting. You probably want to do it either for print or for social media, which is uh, so for the web, for your website, for social media. Uh, or anything online and then there's also print which means but you need two different export files for that so a print file will need to be a lot higher res and a, a, a bigger document whereas online ones we like to keep them nice and tiny so they load fast on people's mobile phones or um, computers so a lot of people like to export as jpegs but I'm a real fan of exporting save for web now a lot of people don't know this but when you save for web you can actually save that as a print file as well particularly if you're just sending this to say move print for printing or whoever your preferential print service company is you can still go to we'll just i'll just show you that one again let's cancel that um, so rather than just compressing all of these and making it a jpeg I like to keep all the layers and I just export save for web. The good thing about saving for web is it gives you a lot more options. So I've got a lot of tools that I can change here that make things a lot easier for me. So when I'm saving for print, I want to keep it as high as possible. Now down here will tell you how big that document is. Now at the moment it's one meg which is pretty big, but it's not so bad for print because we want to keep everything pretty good. So if I went to print this, uh, my printing company would be pretty comfortable with that. One meg, two meg, anything over and above that, you might want to compress, but you can change that by just adjusting the quality of the size so I can change that down to medium and you can see down there it's actually dropped that quite significantly and I can actually go to this quality button here and I can change that I might change that to 40 and that will still for me that will print very well as you can see this is what you're getting here and I'm going to it's optimized that's the size there and I'm going to hit save and I'm going to save that in my same folder and I'm going to call this branding photography price list print and I hit save there. Now I'm back to my original document and I can now export for web as well and this time I'm going to probably change it down to quite low so I've gone to low you see there the quality has gone down to 10 and you see that the size of the document is now quite small 370 there and it's a lot smaller document you can see that it's looking not as sharp as it was when it was going to print and I'm pretty happy with that and I'm going to save it's still probably a little bit high. I might cancel that. I might actually, I'm going to fiddle here with the height, particularly if it's online, sometimes online or your website might have a height restriction. A lot of them are around 2000. 
pixels. So maybe if I change that, yeah, okay. But I'm just gonna beef up that a little bit more. There we go, okay. So you've got a lot of fields you can play with. So these are the two here that I like to play with if I'm doing for web along here too. And that just gives me a little bit more power than just saving as a JPEG. And I definitely recommend having a play around with that. And I'm gonna save and I'm gonna call this one web. Nope, not web, web. And that's saved. And that is all done. You are done. That is as easy as it was. And uh, now you're ready to go. You've got your two documents. I'll show you here. So you've got your two documents that you have created. You've got a print one and you've got a web one. Identical. One is a little lower res. This one's a nice one for print. Both of them are done and ready for me to upload wherever I needed to go. Okay, guys. Well, it has been a pleasure walking through this with you. And I wish you all the best with your editing. Thanks so much. Bye.